Hey, 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 everybody, how's it going? Serial Overdrive here, and today I want to show you how to fix the 0xC0002B, whatever it is, blah, 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 error, whatever it says in the video title. That's what I'm showing you how to fix in Fortnite Battle Royale and hopefully some other games too. This applies to almost every video game out there, okay? First things first, do not download anything. If I tell you to download something, if I tell you to get something, Google it. Don't trust links, don't go to Mega Upload, don't go to any sites. You don't want to be filling out forms, you don't want to be downloading insecure files because you're probably going to get spyware. And then, you know, at best, you're just going to lose a lot of information. At worst, your whole computer is going to be just destroyed. So don't download anything. There's a lot of videos out there that just tell people to download this, download that. I'm making this video to tell you not to. I've seen way too many of my subscribers, I've only got a thousand of them, get burned by this. And not my subscribers, I should say people commenting on videos. I get, you can see my top videos are like how to fix an error, how to run it on a low-end laptop. And there's a lot of people commenting like, hey, I downloaded this thing, it doesn't work, my computer's slower now. It's like, oh boy, now you've opened a can of worms. So just close that can, don't download. I spent a lot of this video just talking about that. Now, first things first, make sure you're running a 64-bit operating system. Generally, I'd say Windows 10. So, if you're running 32-bit, you can't run this game. That's why you're getting the error. You can keep going through with all these other steps, but I almost guarantee it's because you're running a 32-bit operating system, so you need to upgrade. Look into how to upgrade. Most likely, you're gonna need to buy a new laptop, but your laptop probably couldn't run Fortnite even if you were running 64-bits. So. Let's say you're running a 64-bit operating system. Next up, go to command prompt. In here, type CMD, and then you're gonna open the command prompt. Okay, now, type in DXDIAG, hit enter. What's gonna pop up next is, actually I closed this, so let's, uh, let's do it this way. Um, sorry about that, folks. DXDIG, there we go, all right, it popped up. I was hitting the shift button at first. This is gonna be all your system information. Very cool. You can tell like what type of laptop you got, everything like that. You can also tell right here where it says operating system, you're running 64-bit or 32, and down here it says the DirectX version. I can run this game, so you wanna be DirectX version 12 is what I'd say. If it's like significantly past December of 2017, maybe look up what the latest version of DirectX is and download that. It's generally backwards compatible, so if the game could run on DirectX 12, it can probably run on DirectX 13, but DirectX 11, I don't know, maybe it can't run on that. So check that, see if you can get that, and um, see if that does it. Now, if that doesn't do it, we've got one more thing that we can attempt to do. Go to your search bar, type in like add or remove, add apps and features, I guess is what they're calling it now. It used to be add remove programs in Windows XP. Now, you've got this open. Go look for Visual, Microsoft Visual C++. You want the 2005, 2008, um, 2010, 2012, 2013, and 2015 version of that. So I'm gonna explain it now. If you just trust me, go Google this, download those, check it, whatever. The reason this is, is because Visual C++ can be run, multiple instances or multiple versions of it can be run on one computer. Whatever program you're using just pulls the one that it was compiled in. So a game that was made in 2008 probably needs something like, you know, Microsoft Visual C++ 2008 or 2005. Now, a newer game like Fortnite Battle Royale probably requires 2015, maybe 2013 or 12. I, um, 2015 would be my best guess. So if you don't have 2015, likely you need to download that, download the 32-bit and the 64-bit versions of it. Just install it to your system. Get all of these in there just because it's good practice. There's a lot of back, there's a lot of old games that you're gonna wanna play that, or that you might wanna play, that this is gonna help you run. So just go download all that, get it working, and hopefully you can just get in the game and I'll see you in Fortnite Battle Royale. If this video helped you out, hit the like and comment below. If it didn't help you out, just comment below and let me know that you tried everything and it didn't work because I'm gonna keep looking for solutions for those of you out there who can't figure it out. Most likely it's a computer thing, but if you've got like a new computer, like 2017 is giving you this error, comment down below. I really wanna hear from you guys because I wanna figure out, I wanna figure this out. Also, if you're running Linux, Mac, anything like that, that's your issue. So, that's it. That's all I've got for you guys. Hope this video helped. And um, if I didn't, I'm really sorry, guys. Until next time, peace.